Right, you've heard about it, I've heard about it, we've all heard about it. Let's see what it is. I don't know, I, I keep, people keep saying like, hey, here's this crazy thing you need to check out. You know what? Here, I'm checking it out. I'm checking it out for you guys. But also for me. <laughs> right, this sets the tone already. We're nuts, man. And I might be one of them. I'm sure y'all got a story to tell. Why? These guys are, look crazy. This is a prepaid call. You know what they threatened me with? 79 years. No Jane Goodall, that's for certain. I went to work every day prepared to die an entire day. Jesus. Dying doesn't scare me. It's always been a, a bad, bad ending. I've been doing this 20 years and never even... Um. Bad. Ah. It's okay. It's, 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 it's. Our mission is... They are, they are retaliation. That these that these I'll, I'll give you a bite. She wanted to wear a bulletproof vest. That is how bad... That's what he sounds like? There is so many strange twists. I was expecting him to sound like Matthew McConaughey. You have to write books, volumes of the stuff. Not your average Joe Young. Cookie for everyone who gets that reference. Okay, this is good. Okay, I can deal with the tigers, but this... she's 23 years old. And then snakes. When I started, I had no idea it would consume what I just bought. Like in the enough, back of this guy's of van, toy. a leopard. Oh shit! It was a hundred degrees outside. Do they need it's... to be refrigerated, or I mean, you know, because they, they're, they're acclimated and no, they're an endangered species. Are these as rare as uh, the clouded leopard? These are rarer than the clouded leopard. It just blew my mind. What is a snow leopard doing in the back of this guy's hot van? I a project on snow tigers when I was in primary school. To really understand what is going on. It's like Michael Keaton if he went out the deep end. Your whole audience will say, oh my god, that guy has a mullet. No, I like Oh my god, that guy has a mullet. <laughs> Oh my god, you're a connection between you and these yeah, cats. Very emotional. Yeah, I kept contempt for them, and they hate my ass. Right. That's his deal right now. I mean, his whole deal is about just... Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you to the Greater Wonderwood Exotic Animal Park. Unlike them, I'm contributing to this whole thing. ...finds here than anywhere in the world. As a matter of fact, you're going to get so close, I can almost promise you some of you will be urinated on. If that welcome to oh God, am I like, am I just like him? TV show error. On the internet, worldwide, every night at six o'clock. Yeah, I wish I was consistent in that schedule. Joe had been doing these internet broadcasts. You know, I, I've done a lot of shit in my life, but I've <laughs> never experienced anything like Joe Exotic. So, being lit on fire. And famous. I took it to a new level. It compared. It looked like a real television show. We did a show. Better. Much better and improved. I want to say nine out of ten shows was about the animal rights people and... Oh, she's dressed perfectly. Yeah. She sits right... She was this whole thing right down to a T. <laughs> This is he was an ocelot. Champlain was. I heard about this. Thanks. You're following me again. <laughs> you want to lead? I'll get back to it. You can read plaques too. I think it would be fair to say that Carol is the Mother Teresa of cats. You're so wonderful. A lot more accurate when you think about who Mother Teresa really was. Is that a subtle acknowledgement? It's me in the cradle. It was me and the cat. <laughs> I know that they have a heart and a soul and a mind. They have displacement disorder in terms of his emotional attachments and between they what he lacked from his father is giving to his own they... children. But the animal rights people, they keep saying, I can't have these tags smarter. He's fearless. It's like a legion of doom. It's like, this is Lex Luthor and Joe Exotic is like the Joker. <laughs> 50 acres makes up the preserve here. We're gonna film, you know, this is my crib here. You should go to the front door and I'll go open it and say, hi, how you doing? Come in. Okay, good idea. Okay, so I like that. Better at directing than we are. 
Hey. How are you doing, guys? Hi, it's Eric. Good. How are you? Doing nice good. Come you. on in. Completely undercut his direction. My grandfather guru, who a uh, guy I lived with since I was a teenager. All right. So I'm Dr. Bhagavan Antle. H-A-G-A-V-A-N Antle. A-N-T-L-E. Dr. Bhagavan Antle. Doc? Director Ooh, of doctor. the Myrtle Beach Safari and the Rare Species Fund. And speaking of incredible animals, joining us is the founder and director of Tiger. Okay, that's impressive. Hey guys. This is my little girl. Right. You know, people only care about saving what affects them. So you shed a baby tiger mm -hmm. in, in a family's lap and they fall in love with this baby tiger and you have 15 minutes of their undivided attention to say, look, we gotta save the rainforest because you're killing this little baby tiger, you know, where he came from. They leave with yeah, a okay. man. That's actually a good point. We I didn't even know. Incredible up I'm not gonna pretend to so be an animal rights activist after watching this. And the wild world. But it does raise the And their wallets for us to do our worldwide. Raise the question. What is the cost of admission here? That's full of grass and gravel and dirt. It's absolutely flabby. Gabby-looking meat can be good. Tiger, short and stout. This is my tail and this is my mouth. I'm gonna bite you and it's gonna hurt. So why will I bite you? Because I'm a jerk. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> this was actually me and my brother in 1997. And this is how endangered species can save themselves. Stephen. Laid. Wild animals have been brought on to the late night shows. Oh, I love Stephen Colbert. Yeah, I would love to. Hold it, get your breath. And when people. Pause. Uh, it's like every time I hear the backstory of one of these guys, it just makes too much sense for them not. It just wouldn't make sense for them to not end up where they are right now. I mean, by God. It's like saying, oh yes, I was I was born as a cowboy to a guru grandfather. Sir, what do you do with your life? I'm an accountant. <laughs> okay, if you do not do something crazy with your life, with a lifestyle like that, you are wasting your origin story. <laughs> Set loose. One baboon, three mountain lions, and 18 tigers. Do you realize that because of you, this city is being overrun by baboons? Well, isn't that the fault of the voters? Uh, Anything outside the perimeter gets definitely gets taken down. Jeez. That would be terrifying to sit in. The animals were unleashed on the to implode and somebody Jeez. crazy. That will probably push our legislation forward. 48 of his animals were eventually killed Pushing Ohio lawmakers. Having lions and tigers <laughs> bad unto it. <laughs> is the way he took care of them <laughs> take place. Properly managed wildlife. Naked gun reference. A great tool for wildlife education like this man. Arguably the loudest most. They're going to walk in here and take my animals away. It's going to be a small Waco. Oh my God. It's a very powerful statement because I have poured my entire. Paranoid person. When I really realized Joe was oh, Jesus, what now? potentially dangerous was when he made a comment about this could be another Waco. That standoff near Waco began as a federal raid when federal agents tried to serve a search warrant. That is right. terrifying. To these brave agents who died today in the line of duty. And I took that as a direct threat that if my office ever had to take some action out there, we were going to have a shootout. This is... My own little I'd say man. so. The mayor of the problem. <laughs> Execute. You know, after the Waco deal, me and Joe made a Jeez. Anything went bad. <laughs> I see. 
He oh, I think I heard about this. People to oppose him. Oh, fuck yeah! You no, know, for instance, I mean, I would get a little <sighs> cut-out postcard like this addressed like, to me. Like a picture of Joe. It's it's like a cult on it. That was really the point. I real. That is how bad this has gone. Yeah, Peter was. Peter's been. Hey, Forty-seven under my mattress. Been slandered of the bed in the past. Some people were saying they're not as effective or they're doing some stuff equally as wrong. Peter coming onto the park. And Could you send off in the comments what stuff like that's that about? Because I'm not sure where they're so, going wrong, but apparently they are getting a lot of flack. Over the course of eight years, I would guess we have probably taken 40 to 50 police reports. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Aim. Back. You hear about this? What you doing that? You can consider it. Call from Jelly hey, Bison. Hey, an inmate at the Greenfield County Jail. I'm in a cage. You know why? Natural glycerin. <laughs> Irony. Wow. What? Oh, I've heard enough of him.